everybody, I'm Nick and the news are in. I'm sure you've seen it by now, especially if you're a C Sharp developer. C Sharp is programming language of the year. According to the Tayobi or Toby Index, I'm going to say Tayobi Index 2024 in this video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I think this is total, well, bullshit, really. And you should not really read into that further headline, which I think it's more clickbaity than anything. In this video, I want to talk about why you should be skeptical when you see these types of things on the internet, especially in the context of programming language popularity or whether you should use a language or not based on that. And we're going to dive a bit deeper into why I don't think the Tybee Index is good for really anything. Now, please don't treat this video as me saying that C Sharp is not a fantastic language. I think C Sharp is a great, great language and the .NET ecosystem is fantastic as well. However, the headlines that this generated and the way C Sharp developers use this to try to push the agenda of C Sharp adoption, well, I hate it really. It's really, really bad. This does not do us any favor. And those who can really read between the lines, actually not even between the lines, read how the Tyobi Index generated, understand that this is total crap. If you like a lot of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe for more training. Check out my courses on domtrain.com. Okay, so let's go straight into Tayobi's website. That's the headline. The moment you click on that page, you see it. January headline, C Sharp is programming language of the year. Now the page says for the first time in history of the Tayobi Index, C Sharp has won the programming language of the year award. Congratulations. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks. Now, C Sharp has been a top 10 player for more than two decades. Fantastic. And it's been very close to the biggest four languages, biggest four languages. And it finally won this award. Why? Well, because it had the biggest uptick in one year, 1.43%. Runners up are Scratch. Okay. I mean, a win is a win, I guess. And Fortran. Okay. What's next? Cobble. I don't understand. C Sharp is eating market share from Java and it's getting more and more popular in domains such as web application backends and games such as Unity. I think in this whole phrase, the one confirmed thing is Unity. Like really, C Sharp is being adopted because of Unity by new developers. Nobody just comes into programming and says, what's the easiest way to build an API that's cross-platform with a language that is easy to understand and write? C Sharp. You don't do that. Yes, C Sharp is all those things, but because of the narrative of C Sharp, people just Googling don't find C Sharp as the first obvious approach. It's usually JavaScript or Python or TypeScript, maybe even PHP. Now, I don't necessarily think it is eating market share from Java. We don't have the stats to confirm that. It's very hard to cross match. You can't possibly know. Yes, Java technically on this index is on the decline. And you would assume that because C Sharp is such a similar language, it is eating that market share. But I personally don't believe that if you had like a CTO that comes in a company that is full of Java developers that know Java really well, and yes, they have a product that is maybe a bit old, you wouldn't say, hey, let's just drop all that knowledge that all of these developers have accumulated for years and move to C Sharp because it's very fast, cross-platform, free and whatever. But instead, you would see how you can modernize or rewrite everything in Java or maybe Kotlin, if that's your thing, I prefer Kotlin over Java. So I don't really understand the logic behind this statement. C Sharp can be used free of charge. Uh, to be honest, this sounds like Microsoft wrote this just to reconfirm to everybody that you don't have to pay to write C Sharp, which is weird. It evolves in a steady pace. Yeah, for some people a bit too fast, actually. And it's getting more expressive with every new release. Yeah, C Sharp is fantastic. And C Sharp is here to stay and might even surpass Java soon. Now you have a bunch of other things, but I want to go straight into the index because you're going to see some really interesting things here. Now, on top, you have Python with 13.97% uh, ratings, which is a weird word, and we're going to look into that. It had a bit of a drop in ratings. Then you have C, C++, Java, and here C Sharp. Java fell 4.34%, and C Sharp increased 1.43%. Now, I want you to look at me in the eyes on the bottom of your screen right now. And ask me, and ask yourself as well why you ask me, is C Sharp really more popular than JavaScript? Really? Or, I don't know, let's scroll down. Where is TypeScript? 35. Really? 0.39%? 
Are you serious? This is just ridiculous. And you would know why it's ridiculous if you actually look into the Tayoba index and how it is generated, because they do let you know how this is all calculated. For example, look at this. Java had a massive fall off over here from 20% to 12% in a year. Like really in a year? Same for C. What the? Well, I will tell you what the F is happening, because if we go into the Tayobis Index Wikipedia page, you're going to see exactly how this is all calculated. The index is calculated from the numbers of search engine results, which means nothing, by the way, about the popularity of a language and whether you should use it or not, or queries containing the name of the language, which, by the way, is very hard to match because Java, for example, is also a coffee type. C is a letter. <laughs> C-sharp, yeah, it's a programming language, but it's also a chord. So I'm sure they put some due diligence into isolating everything, but really, and to make it more unbiased, this index covers both Google, Google Blogs, MSN, if that's still a thing, Yahoo, Baidu, Wikipedia, and YouTube, which basically means if I stop uploading videos, then C Sharp is less popular by that metric, which is interesting. Now, if we go to the history section, you're going to see why these cliffs, both here in 2004 and here in 16, happened for those languages. Basically, when Google decides to clean up some bad search results or they change the algorithm, because less results will be returned for those languages, the assumption is the language is less popular. Which makes no sense because the only thing that changed is the search engine, not the language itself or who is using it. Now, there's a fantastic blog called Please Stop Citing Tayobi because many, many people are citing this as a popularity metric. I'm going to put the link in the description. Great blog. Go read it. And it points out why this is actually a really, really bad way to determine whether a language is popular or not. It explains the whole fiasco with C and Java and the massive drops it had in 2016. And it goes into way, way more detail. I don't want to cover everything here, so you go and have a chance of reading this. But what you should know is don't try to post this everywhere and say, yeah, C Sharp won. C Sharp is amazing. The best language of the year. And everyone should go and use C Sharp. Yeah, it's a great language, but that's not how we're winning that market share. Like immediately, if you actually scroll on this Reddit post, you're going to see that the first thing listed is that blog. Please stop citing Tayobi. And the response is a great article. I was considering Tayobi as a valid reference ranking system. So many, many people do think that yeah, you should be using it to rank the languages, but don't. The only thing that it's using is number of search results, which is a really, really bad metric. Now, what I do want to know from you in the comments down below, and please think about this because it's very interesting to me, is how do you think we can make an index like this that actually takes meaningful things into account? What would you put in there? Would you put, I don't know, GitHub issues or pull requests or lines of code or maybe Stack Overflow or... Please leave a comment down below, think about this and let us know. Let's have a discussion in the comments to see how we can actually achieve this because someone out there might be making something like this that it's actually good and we can cite to have an approximate metric that we can use. Now, I should point out that popularity of a language has nothing to do with how good the language is. I'm sure that most of C-sharp code out there is legacy code. It's not the new shiny stuff because, yes, some companies have migrated, but many don't touch things that are not broken and they don't have a need to move to something new for. Like you have to have a reason to migrate from the old to the new, let alone from like your Java system or your Visual Basic system to your C Sharp system. In any case, I think the Tayobi Index is a total waste of time and you should never, never ever cite it. It's just so, so dumb. But please do leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and let's have a healthy discussion. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always, Keep coding.